to a topical issue in the country now and Ghana could run out of petroleum products. By Friday, if nothing is done to avert the current shortages. Chief Executive of the oil marketing company, Skwekwa Jimandia, says there is a looming crisis on hand if government fails to intervene in the ongoing petroleum shortage. Here's a report by Sandra Maui. The fuel shortage has been attributed to the inability of government to pay a 1.8 billion Ghana city debt owed the bulk oil distribution companies. The oil marketing companies fear there could be a complete shortage if government does not act fast. The stock said that if you don't take it by Friday, it will be, it will be, it will be in dire consequences, honestly. We don't have enough stock to be able to take us around, you know. It's, it's really precarious. There are cargoes which are sitting down right now. They have been there for over a month now, which are on financial hold. So as soon as this is done, that can be released. That can take us for another one week. The OMCs explain government has failed in deregulating the petroleum industry. Deregulation is taking your hands off, allowing the market forces to determine the supply and demand. Simple. And are we having that? No. The country consumes an amount of 42 million litres of diesel weekly and about 32 million litres of petrol. How has the situation affected businesses of the OMCs? We make money when we sell. If we're not selling, we're not making money. If people are not able to go to work because the vehicles are not moving, it affects the economy. So with this shortage, is the country likely to face a 20% increase of fuel prices on July 1? And if you look at what we have piled up over, if we say we want to slap the whole lot that what we have piled up, obviously it's going to be more than 20%. But we don't know what's going to happen. Meanwhile, some consumers in the capital have turned to the use of gallons to buy diesel in anticipation of diesel shortage. So for days now, we have been telling you the situation about the shortage of petrol here in the capital that's a crowd. But we'll also get to the regions, um, specifically the Ashanti and um, Volta region, to find out from our reporters over there if the situation is same. And we do have William Evans in Kum in Kumasi to tell us more on that very situation. Hello, Evans. Hello, Wendy. Now, in Accra, the picture is very clear that there is shortage of petrol, but is the situation the same in the Ashanti region? Well, when the um, Ashanti region, I can say that only few poor joint um, have stock as far as uh, petroleum product is concerned. Now, it's very difficult to strike the reality on the ground as to whether it is a genuine shortage which is actually uh, emerging, or I mean, the normal thing that any time um, I mean, these sellers contemplate of a possible um, fuel hike or the price of petroleum hike, um, they will just hive or hoard um, these products. I mean, so that is a reality on the ground. I mean, mm. only few petrol um, stations have or have been, I mean, serving consumer. But if you should also consider, I mean, the order of magnitude as far as the effect on these things um, has on the consumers. Well, Kumasi started feeling the heat somewhere yesterday when you visited some poor station that they tell you that we don't have stock and what have you. But I'm contemplating, or there's a possibility that within the weekend we are going to see greater effects on consumers. But have people then noticed that, yes, there are some fuel shortages, like you did mention at some of the fuel stations you, you visited? Precisely, people are getting to be on the known that um, the, 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 the shortage is actually emerging because um, from, I, I think somewhere Monday you could count uh, as much as about 10 fuel stations within the central business district that you go, you get the product. But now, about seven of them, you go there, they will tell you, we don't have stock. Okay. Well, thank you very much, William Evans Income. He told us, or he just mentioned that in the Ashanti region, only few that's f stations have recorded shortage of petrol. But we will also try and reach Komla Kluche, who is in the Volta region, where we have him on the line now. Hello, Komla. I think we've lost Komla there. But while we're still trying to reach him, you can also get interactive, send your comments. Facebook and Twitter is News on TV3. Let's look at some 
other stories. In Sen, Ghana, an NGO has met the local government ministry and civil society organizations to clarify their rules. This has come about in the wake of overlapping responsibilities, which often brings misunderstanding between the MMDAs and civil society organizations. Delivering on the demands of good governance calls for a stronger partnership between the MMDAs and civil society organizations, but there's no clarity of rules to be performed by each partner. Trust building intervention says missing, and the MMDAs have been accused of being overly bureaucratic. The mistrust is coming from the fact that, you see, because they have the resources and they think that uh, those who are marginalized must be brought into the development um, arena, uh, they go to their interest. And once they go in there, what happens is that they, they, they are doing what those people that they are dealing with expect from government. There has been an increase in the number and activities of civil society organizations over the last few decades. Increasingly, the civil society organizations are said to be taking center stage, a situation currently a major challenge. The point is that, you see, they think they have a part to play. And for that reason, once we recognize that they have a part to play, then the relationship must be regularized in the sense that we would know, I mean, clarity will be brought to bear as to what the assemblies must do and what the CSOs must do. At a stakeholders meeting in Accra, the country director of Sen Ghana, George Osebimpe, advocated the need to clarify and explain options for managing a stronger relationship between the MMDAs and civil organizations. Stakeholders are expected to generate inputs to develop comprehensive guidelines to manage the relationship between the MMDAs and civil organizations. You're watching Midday Live with me, Wendy Lyon. Let's move on to security. The Police Motor Traffic and Transport Department has appealed to public spirited persons and organizations to help them with radar guns and accelerometers. Director General of the Department, ACP Awuni, maintains such a gesture will help them increase law enforcement on the roads. ACP Awuni made a call when the Ghana Insurers Association donated some office equipment to the departments. The items included photocopiers, printers, computers, and accessories worth about 10,000 CDs. ACP are winning also called on the driving public to always obey the traffic rules to reduce road carnage. Well, there's a World Cup trivia, but before that, I have some of your comments on our sports headlines. And Lawrence Kwame Asante says that Montari and Kevin shouldn't be sacked at this moment. Oh, Ghana. And Yama Peter says that uh, he's giving a scoreline. Well, he says that Ghana 3, Portugal nil. Next, we have the World Cup trivia. World Cup trivia is brought to you by Nokia XL. And Tigo. Proud supporter of Crazy Fans. Did you know that Fuleco is Brazil 2014 mascot? Fuleco is a portmanteau of the words football and ecologia. Football and ecology in Portuguese, that is. Fuleco is a likable character, scoring 7.3 out of 10 on appeal. He is widely thought to represent the words Brazil, nature, friendly and passion for football. World Cup Trivia was brought to you by Nokia XL and Tigo, Tigo. proud supporter of Crazy Fans. Well, before bringing the scoreline, we're going back to our topic on the petrol shortage. We gave you a situation in the Shanti region. We're going to the Volta region where we have Komla Kluche on the line to tell us the situation on the ground. Hello, Komla. Wendy. Now, yeah. early on, I spoke with um, William Evans in Kumen. He did indicate that only a few stations are uh, recording shortage of petrol. Is that the same situation in the Volta region? Well, uh, I can see the direct opposite uh, in some instances within the whole municipality. A few stations uh, that we've gone to or uh, that I have gone to do not have. Not that they don't have. For my case, I've been speaking with the four uh, 
patient attendance. They do have as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. but they're holding the fool. And then they're selling in bits. If you've got a connection to them, you can buy the fool. Uh, driving from the home municipality, I'm now uh, heading towards uh, the Ketu South municipality. Uh, and I've counted a few of the stations who do have and they're selling. So it's it's, it's the direct opposite of what's uh, transpiring in the Shanti region. Volta region is just in few instances or in few uh, stations that don't have fuel. But um, across the board, I can see generally that there's uh, super being sold. So it means that there's no worry or concern that there is shortage in whole, specifically absolutely, where you're talking I, I, about. I, 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 absolutely not. Not that much. And there isn't even much key. No, um, the stations I went to this morning, I haven't seen any queue. Like I did indicate, it is not that the fuel is not there. It's not that petrol is not there. Petrol is there, but it's being hoarded by the attendants. And, and, and this is on uh, of, from uh, direct use of the managers. I think it's an anticipation of uh, the hikes and the prices or mm. whatsoever, which is making rounds across the country. All right, well, thank you very much indeed, Komla Kluche, for that update. So, in the Shanti region, there are few shortages of petrol, but in the Volta region specifically, who Komla is telling us that um, there is petrol, but it's being hoarded by attendants. We'll follow these um, updates closely, and as and when we do have more information, we'll give them to you now.